Vancouver's different. You know, we're known for our photo media. I'm jumping yeah. around here, but yeah. um, Ireland, uh, even the v VAI conference, Belfast is known for photo media. Yeah. And it's kind of even in this generation, you know, forgive me for saying it, it was the photo media boys, you know. Yeah. And in this conference, I was surprised the last keynote was, oh, no, no, there's women, you know. Oh, but women have to, you know, we're always talking about the confidence of women. And I've had students from 18 to 63, and I've been surprised mm. in the top and the bottom end of Australia, Tasmania and, and Darwin. And, and, and I have been a bit surprised when I was Eugene um, in my mid-40s. Oh, okay, it's, it's still about some of these confidence issues. Yeah. It's, it's, it is about the body, it's, whether it's a... We had women making shields, mm. and we had making, you know, issues of... Uh, uh, Look, we go, we move through the world with our bodies. Yeah. More. There's been issues around the Weinstein issue, which yeah. apparently Weinstein's being jailed today or tomorrow oh, as we okay. speak. Okay. You okay. know, yeah. and then that was certainly part of my era. You know. Well, I know because I'm I'm my background is editing. I, I was a filmmaker, and we we started off literally cutting bits of plastic together. Yes, yes. But in 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 early Hollywood, the the editor was a woman. Yes, I heard that, yeah. And, and there it was, was the, a big tradition of women editors. And again, it's because the process of editing, which is, is normally hidden, is, is piecing together bits and pieces in the same way that you might do your fabrics. Sewing, yeah. Yeah. And, and yet there's a, there's a joy. It, it, oh, you have to be highly, uh, highly um, constructive in your way of putting things together. That, yeah, that, that organized. You could, the organization and everything else. The embroiderers else. are so organized. They're yeah. so great with their archives and everything. <laughs> And, and yet that's that's the kind of that's the way I would have worked. Yeah, there's a big tradition of women. Well, Janet mentions watercolorists, mm. um, uh, uh, photographers, um, portrait artists. You know, yeah, we could tease out those issues in mm. various ways Absolutely. with various types of feminism yeah. and and um, be here for most of the day. But, I know, um, but it's an interesting subject to explore, which maybe we should explore another time as well. Because again, uh, I mean, I'm a married man, I have a lovely wife who's my friend. Uh, and I know that through conversations we would have, I'd see from her perspective what the woman's view of the world is, is, is like. Um, but it's, it's, it's I, I wonder how often do people have those kind of conversations where you do get to see the different perspectives of those of people uh, and how they would explore the world compared to what we would. I, I don't know whether my view is, is typical of the way that men look at the world. I, I kind of wonder at times, is it? Um, but it's, it's just that if we start to look at what we think are stereotypes, that we, we, we are put into a world where I think there's more confusion. But once you get rid of those kind of stereotypes and start talking to each other as people, as human beings, and accepting the other person may have different attributes to what you would do, their contribution to the way the world works is, is very, really important. Uh, and I would be definitely nurturing my wife and encouraging her and you know it's it's we're a team yeah. <laughs> and that's the process that we work on yeah. is she learning a musical instrument yeah. she's not no yeah. but she she's re she's really good at music she's a good singer she remembers all the tunes run across the ages and things like that um and she would have confidence in a way that i wouldn't hmm. she's 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 a strong person a strong personality in what way um well, she comes across as being very confident. I think that's my perspective. Uh, she says she wouldn't, but she's very, she's very strong, and she's uh, she's very encouraging to me. She's, I think, it's is because of what she does that that's I can perfect. do what I can do, yeah. You know, and I have the confidence to do what Real I have to do. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And I think that's that becomes, and, and this is why I think if, if once you start to see that there seems to be battle lines drawing up between male and female, <laughs> you become very frustrated because you kind of go, but the only reason I can function is because I've got. That, that friendship with, with my okay, wife. Okay, right, you know, right. And we're equals. We're not, it's not right, one dominating right, the other. Right, right. You know, it's, it's, it's that we work as, a, as equals. Yeah, and I haven't been married and I haven't had children and here I am at 50. Uh, I've recently sort of taken on a role of helping my parents out and mm. they've had a long-term marriage um, and it's interesting, okay, I've chosen not to and I've been in partnerships with very creative men and had been lucky enough to have, you know, what we call these great romances. Um, in some ways. So that's been interesting being with really creative people, creative partners. And, you know, I have enjoyed that. that that's really given to me and supported me. Um, 
in ways that, yeah, sometimes you don't realize until you lose those mm. people in your life for other reasons. Um, and that, that's been exciting to me, you know. I, I always like reading books about, you know, these very creative partnerships. So, you know, a recent one was um, uh, Dora Maar and uh, Picasso with Guernica. You know, she photographed that piece in a way mm. that really um, historicized it, and that's only just come out. You know, yes, it was a, an amazing masterpiece and still is, but had she not photographed the process, mm. And, and that was her skill. She was a photographer. And, and I think those kinds of re-narrations of history are really interesting. Yeah, no, I, I think it's, uh, and I think it's exploring those things become very important, which I think the youngsters today, no matter what text, whether it's film, whether it's art, whether it's photography, are missing out if they're not exploring where those ideas come from, which could sort of really enhance where they could go from here. I'm always amazed, yeah. It t tends to be in the classroom in art, you know, uh, this idea of genius, which has tended to be a, a male genius or a white mm. male genius, and that's been very unfortunate. And, you know, let, let's put into the mix here the idea of the indigenous worlds of Canada and Australia, you know, and if we were on the land in Canada, you know, I'd say, well you know, thank you to this particular tribe whose land we're on. So this, you know, we're not born out of the head of Zeus, you know, uh, that's what I think, you know. Uh, it's been funny, in, in different classrooms I've said, uh, look, it takes a narcissist to go into this crazy career, you know, to jump off the cliff and risk take and think, you know, that sniff, you know, where's the money, you know. Mm. Um, and that's all great, but let's look at the context of how you're making art and the history of making art and world. You know, I actually now wish I had more world history pre-1945. Yeah, you know, I really do. And I love the idea, I, you know, as I've taught art history, finally, you know, I'm mm. learning my world history. Uh, one, you know, my war historian, uh, you know, colleagues, for example, and they, you know, have taught me so much and, you know, to learn to learn sociopolitical history through art is fascinating and to make the links and, you know, uh, make your work that goes back to, you know, referencing or historicizing uh, some of the issues that then make us encounter today, you know, are, are interesting. And I'm hoping to do a collaborative work that's just in the little, you know, conception box at the moment, so I hate to sort of say it, but, you know, with Dr. Kevin Kiley, who's a poet in mm. Dublin and, and was from the North originally and is yeah. very sensitive to the issues of the Troubles, the contemporary, and back into our history and is an absolute intellect on that. And I, I'm working on his text and some of my mark making, so that's kind of exciting next project. <laughs>